Hi guys, welcome back to the Air Weapon Channel. Today we have unboxing videos uh, and another one here which didn't come sealed, it just come in a bag. So um, basically these are scope mounts and beans I have a lot of people asking me where I'm always getting my mounts from and how I'm attaching things like the bayonet and torches and lasers all on one Picatinny rail. I did do uh, one or two videos, I think the video is called Colorado Full Breakdown um, video. That was about six, seven months ago, and I showed you well, loads of different attachments on there to pick a tinny rail attachments and stuff to put knives and things on. But over the last few months, I've been trying to limit the amount of clutter on the front of the gun so it's not front heavy and bring it all up to the back. They do, I have bought a few little rings and stuff like that that goes on the scopes, but they're all right, but they're not that good, man. So I found scope mounts with picatinny rails attached to them so you just put your scope in there and they're full rails as well so it should eliminate quite a few things that i have on my gun and bring it all into one spot so sorry for the rabble let's get on to the tour uh, to the opening So, first up, got a little card in this one. So first up is this one. I've already opened this one and put my camera attachment on there because uh, this one didn't come in a box, just come in a sealed bag. So this is just a high riser rail, quick release, takes away a bit of the vibration, and that there then is so I can attach my cameras because I don't actually have a decent camera scope, which I would love, but I can't afford to spend 500 quid on a scope at the moment. So basically that goes on the end here. Then my GoPro then or my Insta360, once the attachment's on, will clip onto here. And that will be directly in front of my scope. So it'll see down the scope and I'll see what the scope sees on the screen there. So that's what I've been doing up to now. Then I decided to get the Firefly. Q6 and Q7, they come with a rifle mount rail. So that one's a little bit easier. You can slap that one straight on the rail in front or behind of the camera or on the side of the gun or whatever you want. Not the best, but for 50 quid, you can't go wrong, man. Even got slow motion. So, but with this rail, obviously you need extra rails then for other Picatillies to turn them into two or three and same with the scope. So, this one, I'm not sure if it's got four or two on. There we go, yes, this is the full one. So this one here gives me loads of Picatinny rails. So inside the box you get two Allen keys and a couple of different spacer sizes. Quick release scope mount. Don't know how good it's going to be, but feels quite decent. Aluminium, lightweight, open for quick release. Spring loaded too, so it should take away some of the vibration. See the spring in there? And then, Picatinny rails. Three on each one. So I can bring the camera to the front, the laser and the torch on each side, and then the front of my gun is light then. So that's that one, pretty decent. eBay, I think this was about 11 quid. Next one. This one is pretty much exactly the same, but one of them I got with only one set of scope mounts, on, uh, one set of Picatinny rails on. The other one was two. So same again. Yes, adjusters for if your scope is too big or small, you can take them in or out, and two Allen keys. So same again as the other one, spring loaded, quick release sides. The only difference is this one only has one Picatinny rail on the top. Because obviously not every gun you use or bowl, you're going to want to pack it up with loads of crap. But I just wanted to see what the difference was, to be fair. But they're exactly the same. Just one got fully loaded and the other one isn't. 
So these are on eBay, eleven ninety nine each. And then I use this one sometimes then as well. Bloody fly, uh, wasps, man. Trying to sting me. All right, so this one is uh, for the cameras. That just goes straight on your Picatinny rail. And then you put one camera here, one camera here. You can turn that around with a little screw there to adjust it. So you can have one camera facing downrange, one camera facing you. So it saves you having them all over the place then. And uh, that'll just go anywhere on your gun, upside down, sideways, wherever you want. And you can just adjust the sides then to suit your camera. See that? So like, say that's your rail. I'll go on there. And then the camera will sit on there. And the other one can sit on the other side. If you wanted it, that is. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, just wanted to show you some of these scope mounts because I know people are going to ask where I got them from when they start seeing loads of stuff all wrapped around the scope without any extra attachment. So these are the ones. eBay, eleven ninety nine. I'll chuck a picture up now. And this one's my favourite. This one's about 18 quid. So this is one of the ones I was using previously. As you can see, it's just a twin one. It's actually supposed to sit like this. But I already got ones that do that, so I twisted it the other way. And now I'm going to eliminate this and this and this because that's what it sits on. And it's all going to be gone for this. So let's see what it looks like when it's put together. So that's the old Picatinny rail that I'll be replacing now. God, this one's got bloody six on each one. So I don't know if that is supposed to be at the front or the back, but I put it at the front, so it'll look like that on the rifle then. So that's what it's looking like. It's not too bad. Quick release then. Hopefully these will be okay and not too flimsy. And then your Firefly camera can sit comfortably on the front. Leaving another attachment on the back if you wanted to put something else on. I mean, this one's just going to go on the air rifle, so the, the gamo, so I don't really need a lot of stuff on there, only the camera. As is a brake barrel, it'd be pretty pointless putting loads of attachments on a brake barrel. Camera and a flashlight is all you need, really. So, uh, yeah, that's that. And then, obviously, this one will go on my gun where I do want all the attachments. And then my lasers and torches and stuff will go on the side. But pretty decent, guys. Pretty decent. But 11 quid can't go wrong. So I hope you enjoyed that one, guys. Um, I'm going to be doing an unboxing video now on a uh, Millbrew M16. So stay tuned and uh, look out for them notifications. If you haven't already, hit the like and subscribe button and you'll be notified as soon as I post it. But I am literally going to pack up now and then reset up for an unboxing video of a Millbrew M16 22 air rifle brake barrel. It looks like a pretty sweet gun. Can't wait to open it and try it out. See you all on the next one. Bye-bye, guys.